You've asked me to babysit. Yeah, but I didn't know you were going to turn the place into a Harry Krishna Center. Michael, get real, will ya? I mean, millions of people do this. Yeah, well, you know, we're not among those millions. I mean, you got the incense burning. It smells like an ashram in here. You know what, Michael? First of all, I think you need to be a little bit more open-minded. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this whole Yeshua thing. Oh, come on, you know, I get enough of this from Mom and Dad. I gotta hear it from you now, too. It's just that you've got the kids so indoctrinated in this Messianic Judaism stuff. You know, maybe they need to learn something new. Well, that's what we believe. I mean, you know, have you ever thought about Yeshua? Well, have you ever thought about yoga? Yeah, I have. And? And I don't believe in it. Well, I don't believe in Yeshua, so... Well, let me ask you this. I mean, have you ever thought about heaven and hell? You ever think about that? Yeah, you know what I think about heaven and hell? What? We make our own right here on earth. <sighs> well, so you, you think you're living in heaven right now? Uh, well... I mean, you have perfect peace in your life and everything's rosy. Yeah, I have peace. Are you mocking me? No, I mean, I'm just asking. You, you really feel like you're in heaven? I feel like, you know, yeah, I have peace. Well, I mean, let's just say, you know, God forbid, you died tomorrow. I mean, you, do you think you'd go to heaven? Well, I don't, I don't understand what you call heaven. It's, it doesn't... Well, what, what, do you, what would happen to you when you died? If you died tomorrow, what would happen to you? Well, I believe that, you know, the spirit just goes on in another form. You know? What, you mean like you come back as a cow? That kind of thing? No, probably, you know, my soul would live on in another person. Be best if you just, you know, kind of kept those things to yourself, if you can. I can. All right. Oh, Sounds good. Love you, sis. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, no! I can't believe this! Tara, what is this? What? I got this bill from the veterinarian. Something about the dog's anal glands. $300? What is this? Michael, you know that Daisy needed to go in. You know she did. She has infected ears, she has infected eyes, and her anal glands were impacted. When I took her back, they were infected, and I could tell. You didn't even talk to me about this. I didn't know you were taking the dog to the vet. We don't have this kind of money, Tara. Let me explain something to you, okay? What? I've been doing this for eight years, Ooh. this messianic rabbi thing. I can't do it anymore. The kids are getting too old. We don't have the money. I can't keep living this way. Listen to how you're speaking. You're I need, saying, I can't, I can't. I need a new plan. Speak I, more positively. I need a plan B. That's what I'm saying. You understand? I understand. We don't have the money. But she's a living creature, and she's under our well, care. Well, so is Ruth and Joseph That's and David right. and Rachel. I'm going to have to do something, I'm telling you. Now I'm going to go through the rest of this stuff, and I'm afraid what I'm going to find out. You want to tell me? Take it easy. Just take a big chill pill. Everything's going to be just fine. Trust me. You want to come in here and do some work on the computer? So, did any checks come in? Nah, it's mostly just bills as usual. So, what are you writing? A sisterhood letter or something? So, do you really care? Do you want me to tell you? Whatever. Hey, look at this. I got this notice from our health insurance company. It's a statement saying that they paid your last doctor bill in full. Really? Well, that's always a good thing. Yeah. Especially when it's a tubal ligation. You know anything about this? I'm serious. It says tubal ligation. Paid in full. Tara Stepakov. Am I missing something? What's going on? I 
was going to tell you. When did this happen? Look, you were in L.A. that week. What, so I go out of town and, and, and you just think to yourself, you know, uh, I think this week I'll just happen to get my tubes tied. Is that how it works? I was going to tell you. All right, well, hold it. Come on. I, I want you coming with me. I want to talk to you. Come on. What are we doing here? Like I said, we're going to get to the bottom of this. In front of the ark of the Lord, in front of God Almighty, in His holy Torah, I'm going to find out the truth. No, 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 no. I am not doing this. Yes, you are. I'm not. Yes. Why? We're doing this. Why do because you want me to I do this? Because I want to know the truth. What truth? And nobody could lie. What, what, what truth? In what front do you of want the to know? Torah. Stop. Get no. your hands. Hey, no. women, women are not allowed no. to touch this. I'm not in my cycle right now. Stop. No. Stop. I'm not. Why would you do it? Why would you get yourself fixed? I mean, you're spayed like a dog now. First of all, don't ever compare me to a dog. Well, you okay? did it. You did it. Michael, I'm not a soda machine. You could just pop in and punch a button and out comes all these babies. It just doesn't work that way. Well, I just can't believe you would lie to me like that. I mean, I'm shocked. That's the main thing. It's not even the, the thing about now suddenly I find out I'm never going to have any more children, which is pretty shocking, to be honest with you. But to find out that you lied to me also, that's the worst part. What? You've never lied to me about anything? No. Well... Come on now. With the Torah in your hands, Michael. Tell me you've never lied to me. All right. Well, you know, maybe a few little things here and there. All right. You want to know? You want? Let's just lay everything on the table now. Fine. I'm not saying that I lied to we you. We don't keep okay? secrets from each other. Fine. You know that. Well, I just found out that we do. This that is all right. All right. Let's lay it all on the table. I, I'm not saying that I lied, but there is a little something that I omitted to tell you. Okay. What's this omission? All right. It it's it has to do with Los Angeles. L. A. When I was in Los Angeles, I met with my agent. And I have not told you the whole story about this agent. My agent is an old friend. And my agent's name is Rebecca. Rebecca Goldstein. Have I ever told you about her? No. You never told me about a Rebecca. First of all, I thought your agent was a male, not a female. Well, I never said that. I never said it was a male. <clears throat> Let me explain it to you, Tara. I'm just going to put this down and I'm going to try to tell you Please the do. whole story. Okay? All right, here's what it is Rebecca is a very talented agent. She's got a, a wonderful deal for me. I stand to make a lot of money, but the only way she'll give it to me is if I sleep with her. What? I've got to go to bed with her. No way! I am not letting you sleep with another woman. Look, Tara, I mean, what do you want me to do? It would just be one night, then it would be over, then I could go to work, and I would get all this money. I mean, I would only be gone for maybe, I don't know, four months, six months. What? Well, you know, I, I mean, it's You are not moving to L.A. It's You're just television. not going to do that. This is a television. What are you thinking? It's You're a not television thinking deal. straight. You're not thinking the way I know you. You can't work in television without living in Los Angeles. Well, then there has to be another option. Well, what does she look like? Well, does it really matter? To me, it does. Well, if I say she's really ugly, will you let me do it then? It makes me feel better. I'm not going to lie to you. She's an attractive woman, but, you know, I'm not... I don't have any feelings for her or anything. It's just something that I would need to do so that I can get this deal. You should... You it's should. all backwards. It's all backwards thinking. Let me put this Torah away. Look. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm out of it. Come on. Hey, just take it easy. I don't want any part of it. Tara. I'll see where you Where are you going? I will see you later. Tara. Come on, Tara.